My friends, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is a collapsible stove, a stove that transforms from a rather small size to a larger, more substantial stove. This is made by Snow Peak, which is a Japanese company known for making excellent gear, top quality stuff. They're also known for being rather pricey. Is this a pricey stove? Yes. Yes, it is. But at the same time, the quality is fantastic and it's a good performer. I've been testing this stove out for a long time now, and I'm now ready to share with you all my pros and cons that I have for this system. To start off, folks, I think the most important thing to do here is to show you all its form factor and how it transforms. So as you can see here, this is a rather small stove. As far as the measurements go, it's about 10 inches long. It's about five inches wide. And this way it's about three and a half inches wide. As you can see with those dimensions, that's rather impressive. Now let's go ahead and let's change the shape of this system. So first off, you can see this cover here. It opens up just like so. Now folks, I want you all to pay attention to this little peg right here. Basically that is a pin lock and that locks the stove. So to unfold this, you need to push that in then you can unfold the stove. You push in that peg, the stove turns around and locks into place. From there, you can pull out the pot supports and they go just like that. With the stove laying down, let's go over the features. So you have four pot supports, two here, two here. These are adjustable, these are not. You can see here that this features an inserted burner head. You have the igniter. This is the on and off switch. It also fires up the igniter and you can make your adjustments as you wish. This is where the fuel canister is inserted. And you may be wondering what this is. It goes underneath here and to over here. That my friends is a copper heating plate and it's to warm up butane fuel. As you're using the stove, that copper plate heats up and the heat radiates all the way to underneath the canister itself. That way you can get better performance out of this stove even in cool conditions. And that's because butane fuel does not run very well in cold conditions. So if the stove can warm it up for you, you're going to have better performance. Inserting the fuel canister is very simple. You simply take it, line up the notches, and insert. That's it. There's no way to lock this fuel canister into place. Once you have the fuel canister inserted, you can go ahead and close the cover. Igniting the stove is simple. Just like that. From there, you can make your adjustments. In a nutshell, my friends, that is the Snow Peak Home and Camp Burner Stove. It should be mentioned that the stove is also known as the GS600. This stove runs on butane. It offers 8,333 BTUs of power. As far as the materials go, you're looking at a combination of stainless steel, steel, aluminum, brass, resin, and rubber. The weight of this system is three pounds. The retail price of this stove is $130, but I've seen it for $120 on Amazon. It is available in three colors, black, khaki, silver, and there are some accessories available for this system, such as a neoprene case and a storage bag, all of which can be purchased separately or purchased with the stove. Now, my friends, it's time to move over to the review portion of this episode, and let's start with the pros here. As I'm going over the pros and also the cons, I will share with you all footage of me using this stove over the last year or so. First off, everyone, the quality of this stove is very, very good. It's nicely made, nicely constructed, it's using great materials. The fit and finish is very good. There's no rough edges. And when you're holding the stove in your hands, it feels substantial with one exception. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Without a doubt, this stove features a compact design. And at the same time, the stove is fairly lightweight. In my opinion, it's not lightweight enough to go backpacking with. The stove still weighs three pounds. But for like an overland system, as part of a small kit, it really is impressive. The way that the stove transforms and just how stable of a platform it is and considering the good performance, again, what the stove offers is impressive. With the stove here, it can support pots from four and a half inches all the way up to 12 inches in diameter. The overall performance of this stove is very good, even in cool conditions. Yes, there are faster stoves out on the market, stoves that run on butane that offer more BTUs, but they're much larger than this. 
Considering the size of this, the performance is very good. When it comes to the igniter, it works every single time. I've never had an issue with this stove firing up. A huge pro for this stove is the fact that the fuel is so inexpensive. You could purchase eight ounce cans of fuel for this stove and you're going to spend very, very little, especially when you compare the prices of isobutane. That makes this stove, even though it's rather expensive to purchase, very interesting because the fuel is so inexpensive. You can purchase like 12 cans of fuel for like $40. That is nice. Next up, my friends, when the stove is all set up, it offers a very stable platform to cook on. The stove doesn't teeter-totter or anything like that. It's very stable. Once you have the stove set up, inserting the fuel canister is very simple. It just simply clicks into place and then you shut the cover. There's no must, no fuss. It really is as easy as it's gonna get with any sort of stove. Another huge pro for this stove is the fact that it features the heat conduit. That copper heating plate is gonna keep your fuel warm while you're using it, and that means better performance. That is a feature that I've not seen on other butane stoves, and it's impressive, and it does work. I've used this stove in temperatures around 30 degrees, and I've had no issues. Yes, I did have to warm the fuel before using it, but once I got the stove going, the overall performance of the stove was rather good. The final pro that I have for this stove is the way that the flame originates from inside the burner. This helps with wind resistance. Now, if you're going to be outside on a really windy day, you will still want a windscreen. But overall, the wind resistance with this stove is rather good. The first con that I have for this stove is price. At $130, even $120, that's quite expensive for a butane stove. Butane stoves in general are very inexpensive, but that's not the case here. Now again, most of those stoves are quite a bit bigger than this. That is something that needs to be kept in mind. The next con I wanna talk about here is setting up this stove and breaking it down. It is not something that's going to be fluid for you. Having to locate that locking pin, pushing it, and then rotating this, it's not easy. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of funny. I have set up this stove and broke it down hundreds of times, and it's still not a very fluid process. Another con that I have for this stove is the fact that it costs $130 and a storage bag, a case is not included. For $130, one should be. Next, my friends, when it comes to actually using this stove while the performance is good, when it comes time to simmer, when you want to control the flame, the heat output, there is an issue here. You can see here that you have a rating system. Three, two, one, and zero. You would think zero would be off, but that's not the case. With this stove here, it goes from three to one. Once you hit one and go past that point, the stove turns off. So countless times while you're using the stove, you're getting accustomed to it, you're going to want to turn down the heat some, right? You'll turn the dial down to one, not thinking that you're going to turn it off, but you're just going to lower it, but yet you turn the stove off. I mentioned before that I like the overall quality and construction of this stove with one exception, and that is the cover that goes over the gas canister. This is a little bit flimsy, and oftentimes when you go to close this, you'll shoot over the closing tabs and over the top of this side, which you're not intended to do. This is what it's supposed to be like, but oftentimes you'll overshoot that, just like so. Another con that I have with this system is the fact that you cannot use small cups on it. You have to use pots and pans above four and a half inches all the way up to 12 inches. You cannot use larger style cups on here. And in my opinion, that's a shame. There are times where all you want to do is heat up a cup of coffee, but yet you cannot do it on this stove. Not as is. You can alter it, you can do things, but that's completely different. The last con that I have for this stove is rather important. There are no English instructions included with it. Luckily, there are YouTube videos like this one here that show you all how to use the stove, but as is, out of the box, there's no instructions. It really would be a good idea for Snowpeak to include English instructions for a product they're selling in the United States. That way they can ensure that their customers are staying safe with their products. And that right there, my friends, wraps up my review of the Snowpeak stove. All in all, I like this system a lot. The quality is good, the performance is good, it's fairly lightweight. When it's all folded up, it is very, very compact, impressively so. It's not a perfect product, but the cons that it has are rather minor. All in all, I like this product a lot, and I want to thank my buddy Mike for sending this to me. My friend, thank you so much for sending this in. I do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Now it's your turn to comment down below, everyone. Share your thoughts. What do you all think about this stove? What do you all think about the price? Is $130 too much? What's your opinion on that? I appreciate you all tuning in for this episode. Everyone take care. Be well. Strength and honor. Bye for now. Oh,